Greetings to you this nice, cool, fall-like Sunday evening. And I wanted to say a few words which uh, came to my mind as I was listening to a particular pastor who will remain nameless online commenting about, once again, the errors of what he perceives to be errors of other Christians. Ever notice that sometimes when you're listening, if you happen to listen to various pastors, how some seem to always be very strident in their tone, always condemning and always criticizing others. Uh, we're all tempted to fall into that at times. People in ministry work, it's very easy to fall into that. But I find it personally tiresome. And I just wanted to say to you, if you're listening to a particular speaker and you like much of what they say, but you find out that the general tenor, the general tone and um, attitude of the speaker is one of harshness and judgment and condemnation, I would caution you to really think about continuing to listen to such a fellow. If one is seeing just the negative in others, most likely they have a problem with personal pride and hubris. They're thinking of themselves on a higher plateau from the common everyday person and the common Christian. They seem to sometimes preach from their ivory towers and oftentimes, in my opinion anyway, are out of touch with the struggles and the strains of the everyday person. Many of them have no idea what it's like to work a certain kind of job and deal with certain kinds of pressures in the secular world because for many years, maybe their entire life of ministry, they've really not been involved in that. And so it's so easy to pontificate and to just uh, prance around uh, preening yourself and looking down on other people. Oftentimes they're criticizing others who don't take uh, their point of view, their interpretation on matters and see things exactly like they do. There seems to be no allowance on the part of some of these folks for any varieties of understanding or interpretation. It's their way. You know, there are many passages in the scriptures which even the most capable scholars do not all see eye to eye on. There are easier passages, there are clear passages, and there are less clear passages. And a good way of approaching that is to take the more clear passages, the ones that seem to be pretty straightforward, and use them uh, and try to lean on those to help us understand the more difficult passages in scriptures. But if you listen to some folks, again, you get the idea that it's also very clear and beyond question. I'm just simply saying, as you listen to folks and you find that some ministers are extremely strident and harsh in their tone when it comes to other people. In other words, their basic attitude is one of correction and judgment. I grew up in a lot that kind of environment to a certain degree and I personally get tired of it. So this is probably a bit of a reaction. So allow me to react a little bit and respond to that kind of thing. I just really have very little tolerance for that. And I think there's some basis for having very little tolerance for that. While I will listen and respect them as much as I can, I want to say to them if I could and if they would listen, you know, the primary tenor of our ministry should be one of love. It should be one of acceptance. It should be essentially positive, not negative, not carping and criticizing all the time. There is a place for um, a sense of correction, certainly. And there are judgments to be made, certainly. And there are right and wrong views of scripture, certainly. But our ministry should primarily be a positive ministry. Our approach to other people 
should be one of love. And if we do not have love, as Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, we're just like a clanging cymbal. What good is it? It's actually irritating, isn't it? So I just would encourage you to really think if you're listening to some people with uh, a very harsh tone and they just continue to go on and on and on and you want to listen to them, but you just find again this tone of judgment, consistent judgment coming from them. Think twice about continuing on with them and seek out some, what I would say, more balanced teachers of the scriptures. God bless you and have a nice week this week.